In the previous video, we have seen the breakup of the chapters in which we have to study the financial management. What is ratio analysis? Firstly, we need to know before knowing ratio analysis or before starting to learn with the formulas and getting into the core of the chapter, we'll firstly understand the balance sheet of ratio analysis. The balance sheet that we see in ratio analysis or prepare in ratio analysis is different from that of schedule 3 so we will write that first balance sheet it is different from that of schedule 3 mostly the balance sheet is prepared by the credit rating agency credit rating agency firstly all want to know what is credit rating credit rating is the ratings given by certain agencies to the companies many companies conduct credit ratings so that a third party gives them a score this score is helpful for the investors who are going to invest their funds just like the auditor's report okay but it is a different concept altogether so just be patient the balance sheet format is very simple not as difficult as difficult as schedule 3 balance sheet okay it will be in a vertical format since we are dealing since we are dealing with companies who borrow funds in the form of equity preference and debts and debts now the most important part how to present the things in the exam so before going into core we'll write everything and then we'll move into the core okay core is also very easy i'm just stressing on it so that you all be strictly following the sequence and giving more of your 100 more than your 100 percent on ratio analysis so that forthcoming chapters become easy in exams in exams do not prepare vertical format of balance sheet unless it is asked since since it is not the balance sheet that we prepare in accounts we 
that is schedule 3 if you all don't know what schedule 3 is then when i'll be teaching your accounts that time you'll definitely might come to know if the question is having a t format a t format that is horizontal format balance sheet then keep your answer in t format only okay so i'll firstly want you all to copy this much pause the video and copy this much please pause the video and copy this much i hope you all have copied the most important question that might have come in your mind is why not why not to prepare the vertical format since we are dealing with companies just because in exam this chapter max to max comes for 8 marks okay and the question is framed in such a manner that the balance sheet is incomplete you just need to fill the missing figures in the balance sheet okay so to fill the balance sheet the questions are framed in such a manner in such a manner that you need to at least apply eight formulas to complete the balance sheet okay so do not show off your knowledge in the exam even if you are knowing the vertical format of the balance sheet if the question is of 12 marks then only go for it if you want write it down i am not writing if the question is of 12 marks and only eight formulas you have applied in your balance sheet is ready so do not prepare t format balance sheet prepare vertical format of balance sheet vertical format of balance sheet is very easy and very logical okay so please pause the video and copy this much i hope you all have copied so you all have got to know that we have to deal with balance sheet we have to uh, solve the formulas to complete the balance sheet so basically in this chapter if the questions are asked from this chapter what you have to do you have to just fill the missing figures in the balance sheet or you have to all together make a new balance sheet either in a t format or in a vertical format mostly not in a vertical format because the questions are max to max of 8 marks okay so just don't worry this chapter is very simple only the formulas are there they are bit difficult and many a times some formulas are not given in the practice manual also in the initial pages so when you are solving a sum you come across such a formula that it is not there in the initial pages and then you start to panic why such formula is not there so we'll be covering entire formulas and in a sequence 
so that there is no problem in the next video we'll see the balance sheet and as well as the formulas we'll start with the formulas okay